Guess who has two thumbs and likes to do things last minute? This girl. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the Milani Is To Touch A Blur Stick. I got the small little baby one. This once again came from my best friend because I mean, why not? Thanks Nancy. Did my eyebrows just move? For me personally, I always feel like products like this in a stick form that's a primer I feel like they're kind of scammy I don't know why I think that I don't even think I actually ever tried one that's like this I know that elf has I know they have a moisturizing balm that's like this and they also have a um a toner that's in something like this which is interesting so this size is 0 0.18 ounces or 5 grams um, I'm on the website right here and I believe there's a bigger version of this but I don't see like a size on the website or am I not looking hard enough no I don't I don't see a size anywhere so it says is it touch up blur stick quickie makeup touch ups when you're on the go call for Milani is it touch up blur stick multiple products in one this do it all blurs imperfections fills the fine lines absorbs oil works as a primer to extend makeup wear and the soft matte finish combats unwanted shine the barely there feel and transparent formula makes it perfect for wearing underneath makeup and by all skin tones so they do only have one shade which is 01 transparent it looks like this is just a obviously a transparent balm uh, so you can't like see it at all where'd it go it feels pretty smooth but that's on my arm and my arms are always smooth so <laughs> that was stupid for application it says milani instant touch up blur stick use a gentle swiping motions to apply onto cheeks forehead chin and where needed to mattify so like all over my face tips and tricks for the best application warm up product in between fingers first and then gently press onto desired areas why didn't they just put the description for tips and tricks under application like of course we want we all want the best application so why wouldn't you just say just warm the product in between your fingers and gently press it to so i'm going to go ahead and put this on uh i didn't bring like a mirror with me or anything so i'm just going to use a mirror right behind my camera so on this side of my face i'm going to go ahead and swipe it on and then on this side of my face i'm going to warm it up in between my fingers and press it into the skin and the foundation that i'm going to be wearing is the wet and wild photo focus foundation i haven't been wearing it i don't know why because now i have three shades so i should be able to wear this all year round but now i have to figure out what shade i am <laughs> and if you haven't seen that fail video you can go ahead and click the card that's about to pop up right now so I rubbed the primer all over on this side of my face and now I'm about to go in with my finger so I'm just gonna I just load it up I guess on these two fingers right here warm it up and then I'm going to press it into my skin So I'm done applying the primer and now that I'm looking at it close up I feel that this side of my face right here just looks like the product is just sitting on top of my skin but on this side of my face it looks like what is on my eye it actually kind of like sunk into my skin so I'm just gonna go ahead and just pat this in a little bit because I don't want to look crazy crazy 
Now that I have the primer on, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out what shade I am in this. And I'm going to just put on my foundation. Um, and I'm actually going to be using the e.l.f. Uh, Beauty Sponge. I actually did use this in the past before. But my dog got to it and I just never wanted to just get another sponge. I don't know why, but I bought this for someone else. And it's been an extremely long time since we've seen each other. So... Sorry, Delena. I'm going to be using the beauty sponge I was supposed to give you. So I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation, figure out my shade, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I will see y'all in a little bit. So I found my shade. Luckily, it was only one foundation and it's the shade Caramel, which is so weird. It looks super light and then I put it on. I'm like, oh wait, that looks like the rest of my body. So we're good. I am going to be doing a video on uh, this this thing whatever i don't know if my opinion would even be super valid on it because i never tried an actual beauty blender sponge i feel that it did help my foundation go on pretty smooth i actually should have done one half um with a brush because i usually do that with a brush but i feel like that it did go on pretty smooth but on my nose i would zoom you guys in but even if i zoom you in it wouldn't even like even show good enough what I've talked what I'm talking about but on my nose for some reason on this nostril right here it's like my nose is kind of peeking through the foundation and I even deliberately took the foundation and I pressed it on my nose in that area specifically so I'm not sure if that is a foundation or the primer that's just making it do some weird stuff. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put concealer on it anyways. So far, the primer isn't hasn't done anything wrong. Um, do I think it did any like blurring effect? Maybe slightly. I don't know. It's nothing noticeable for me personally. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back, show you guys, and we'll just talk about it a little bit and then I got to go on about my day. Probably put this bag of chips down. I'm done with my face. Um, I'm really enjoying my eye look. I know I usually always do basic eye looks and this is still a basic eye look, but I'm enjoying it. I don't know. It just looks nice. Uh, hopefully in the future, I will plan on doing something more with my eye looks. It's just that today in particular, I can't do a lot because I'm going to a reading and I'm actually late for it now. Everything on top of the primer went on smoothly and nicely, just like basically any other primer that I use. Uh, oh my god am i still cute <laughs> so right now it is 2 51 um i have to hurry up and clean up really fast and go on about my day i don't know if i'm going to come back on camera um before i go to tatiana's house or i might come back vlog style you know when i get to tatiana's house um and tell y'all how to primer um, went on but I guess you're also able to put it on like touch up your face throughout the day with this I don't know I mean I guess you could do little touch ups with this but I always feel weird by putting more product that's not powder on top of my makeup after I'm done um, so I don't know how that's gonna work so I'll go ahead and go and then I'll come back and tell y'all how this gonna work okay it is 12 16 a.m i've had this makeup on for too long i am at tatiana's house you could probably hear her typing in the back but yeah i'll put um how long i've had this on on the screen because i don't know i'm too tired to think right now i actually did beforehand which i shouldn't have done this but i did anyways blotted my face with these two no don't drop it okay with these two blotting sheets right here honestly for as long as i had this makeup on 
Uh, this is actually not bad for the amount of oil that I got. So do I recommend the Milani uh, Instant Touch Up Blur Stick? I don't even have it with me. I just threw everything in a bag and came over here. So yeah, but I do recommend it, especially if you have oily skin. Um, I did do like a checkup on my makeup kind of in the middle of the day. I don't know, at some point I was like looking at my face. I was like, wow. It looks great. So that is it for this video. I'm really tired and I can't wait to take these contacts out. But if you like it, please give it a like. Also, comment down below if you have used the Milani Instant Touch Up Blur Stick or anything else from Milani. And if you are subscribed, please click that bell so you can get the notifications of whenever I post because apparently subscribing isn't good enough just you gotta click the bell but if you haven't subscribed already please do because we're trying to get this channel up to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and i think it'd be pretty cool if we could make that happen okay i'm gonna go bye